What's going on guys? Shotgun here. Uh, this is more of a follow-up video to my previous Metasploit video. A lot of you guys have been commenting, hey, this is not working. What's going on? Every time I type MSF console, it says command not found. I don't have a bash RC file. I don't have a bash profile. What do you add all these informations? And so uh, I know exactly why it's not working. And in this video, we'll fix it all together. So in my previous video, I taught you guys how to link to MSF console using alias for it was not persistent and I'm sorry about that that's why it didn't work when you typed MSF console the command line was saying hey what are you doing there's no such thing as MSF console so this video will fix it together be with me so let's get started right away so I've just freshly installed Metasploit and I haven't touched anything so I've just installed it and done nothing so we're on the same page Right here, let's get started with our favorite terminal. So let's boot our terminal up and we'll see if we have a dot bash RC file. So in this video, what we're trying to do, we are trying to do MSF console and launch Metasploit every time we close, open Metasploit, whatever. So clear that mess out of the way. And um, let's see if we have um, dot bash RC file or dot, dot bash profile file. So in order to do that, we just do ls space ah, and we have a bash history, we have a bash profile save, I don't know what that is, doesn't look like a bash rc file to me, and we have a bash sessions. So the next thing we're going to do uh, is we are going to create the dot bash rc or bash profile file. So in order to do that, we will use our not so favorite text editor. No, no, I mean nothing wrong with that, but hey, I like Vim better. But I want to, uh, you know, keep the consistency on the video, so I'll just use nano. Nothing wrong with that. No judgments whatsoever. So sudo nano dot bash underscore profile. So since it's a brand new file, there's nothing in there, obviously. It's a newborn baby, so. So we need to know where our Metasploit, where our Metasploit is installed. So in order to do that, we need to do click on your desktop anywhere, not the folder, but anywhere. Click on the go thing over the top. Uh, click on the one that says go to folder, or you can do shift command G button. Right, so we're gonna do this thingo, opt this thingo. So that's, this is the location of where our Metasploit is installed. So we're gonna start with um, a bit of a comment just for the future reference, we'll say, it's uh hey it's for metasploits right yeah there we go uh now we'll start with export and capital path equals just drag and drop this thing o and close this thing o dollar sign and path so what it does is it adds this metasploit folder to your environment variable. So every time you open the terminal, launch the terminal up, it'll go look for this file and says, yep, it's there. So next thing we want to do is create an alias. But this time it's going to be a bit different because it's going to be persistent. Why? Because we created in the bash profile file and this is the file the terminal looks up every time you open the terminal. So let's start with alias. It's the same thing, just a different file. So we will do msf console equals. Now I need to know where our msf console file is. So it's usually in the Metasploit framework, bin, and you can see the file just down here. Right, let's ooh, let's just drag and drop this little thingo and enter. So nothing wrong with that, that one, that one, that one, that one. So everything's done. Um, export path is there, alias is there. We'll just write it out by pressing Control and O button. File name to write, it's gonna be a bash profile. Um, exit the nano using Control X and clear this thingo. Exit the terminal just to see if our persistency is still there. Now, if I type msf console voila there you go oh, right here, guys that was how you create a persistent uh msf console 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it solved your problems. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys um, give me likes, comments on my videos. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you have any videos, ideas, um, you know, just just pop them down there. Keep them coming. And happy pen testing. And love your bloody legends.